Let's take a look at some of the lettering features available in Version 6 software. Right-click on the lettering icon or tap the letter A on the keyboard. Then enter whatever text that you would like to see. And we can preview that text using our new drop-down feature where we can see the built-in fonts as well as if you have Designer Plus, you'll be able to preview all of your TrueType fonts on your hard drive before you even enter them. Once you've decided on the font, go ahead and click Apply and click anywhere on the blank work area. You can resize directly or you can enter a size in the Height dialog and Apply. OK, we'll close the dialog box. It's fun to create logos from text. We now have many more options to do that. By activating the Reshape Object icon, we can see the control points on each one of the letters. Selecting one of those control points shows us all of the options that we now have for changing individual letters. I can resize and rescale proportionately by height or width or disproportionately. I can skew my letter, move my letter along the baseline, and rotate. This gives us all new options. I can move my letter anywhere that I like on the baseline by holding the control key down and that allows me to place the letter where I like it. I can quickly resize these letters to create superscript. Select multiples by dragging a bounding box. Holding the shift key will constrain the letters vertically. I can then select the last of my letters by dragging a bounding box and moving them into place to create my new logo.